On the 14th of this month, Speaker of Parliament Anita Among gave leave to Toro woman MP Sarah Opendi to prepare a private member's bill titled the 2023 Alcohol Control Bill. Parliament's Committees of Health and Trade were then charged with interfacing with Opendi to process her bill. We are therefore uh, here today to listen to the move of the bill and uh, if there are any clarifications, we will seek the clarification after her submission. While appearing before MPs on this committee today, Opendi reassured Ugandans that her bill is not intended to stop them from enjoying the various alcoholic beverages that are at their disposal. Somebody buys and goes to drink from home. We have no problem with that. For us, we shall not control people's homes. You are actually free. That's why we say the supermarkets can sell alcohol from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. But she only wants to establish a clear time frame within which these beverages should be imbibed. Actually proposing that bars open at 5 on working days, close by 10. On weekends and public holidays, they can open at midday and close by midnight. Of critical importance to the legislator is the manufacturing process of alcohol in the country. Opendi pointed out that there was a need to establish clear guidelines to be followed in the manufacturing of alcohol in the country to ensure that its quality is safe enough for human consumption. Actually, it is estimated that only 35% of the alcohol in the market is cleared by the Uganda National Bureau of Standards. At the moment, some of the laws that were initially framed to regulate alcohol consumption are now obsolete and have been repealed over time. This also leaves a gap in regulation that needs to be filled. Without addressing this matter, Opendi is afraid that the overconsumption of alcohol by Ugandans exposes them to various diseases while also driving up the country's crime rate. And recent reports in Uganda show that alcohol contributes significantly to mental health challenges of majorly the youth and also contributes to the non-communicable diseases like diabetes, cancer, liver and heart diseases. Legislators on the Health and Trade Committees have questioned her on some of the clauses within the bill calling for more revisions to be made. Let us be clear. Is it reducing? Is it increasing? What is it? Because when you are regulating, it basically means you can reduce, you can increase. I see a disconnect between the policy and the proposed law. How can we think? If you are recommending the repealing of the existing laws to be replaced by this, but yet it does not cater for the entire spectrum of the objectives in the policy, doesn't it? limit this bill. Committee legislators are expected to interface with various sector players on this bill before writing their report in a bid to guide Parliament on whether or not to enact the proposed bill into law. Currently, Uganda leads Africa in alcohol consumption according to the World Health Organization. Meanwhile, this committee's sitting has also not been spared the drama of whether or not to allow opposition members to take part. But here I had a matter of clarification whether Honorable Ulume, a member of parliament for the Democratic Party who is boycotting parliament with the ruling of the speaker, is really in the right place for now. Information they have given me is that there have been some engagements uh, yesterday and uh, there is nothing that will stop uh, Honorable Dr. Lulume from being in this meeting. Joyce Nakato. NTV tonight.